Hello and welcome back to, to No Man's Sky, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alon Paul. We're going to try to complete out our Voyager expedition in our video version of it. But let's see where we're at right now. Phase 1 is complete. Phase 2, we're having trouble with this one. I'm not sure if it's been fixed yet, but we're going to try to figure that out. Phase 3, we got to get these taken care of, including harvesting our plants. So we're going to check how those are doing. We do have to use a portal in the black hole, which is pretty easy to do. We have to discover six exotic creatures, which we've discovered four thus far, so that shouldn't be bad. Uh, we've got to get to Rendezvous 5, no problem. Uh, herbivore is at least seven meters high. We'll take a look for those. We've got to learn some more Corvax words. I'm not sure how I've missed that. Let's check out the plants real quick, shall we? Here we go. All right. Looks like we got a lot of plants, so we need 18 of them. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, and eighteen. That should do it. Very good, very good. We got that done. How are we doing on carbon, by the way, in my person? We don't have a ton of it. Let's gather some while we're here. There we go. Gather as much as we can right now. All right, good deal. That should get us a good printing penny. There, that's much, much better. Okay, we're in good shape. All right, got plenty of carbon now. Let's go ahead and head out of here. So we got our expedition reward. Let's grab that real quick. Okay, which we'll never use, of course. So I'm actually going to stick that on the ship. Hold on a second. All right, unless it already did. Oh, sweet, it already did. Good, good, good. All right, we're in good shape there. Let's move on. Um, wait, what are those? Multi-tool and storage augmentation for our ship. I'm not sure how they ended up there. I must have put them there without thinking about it. All right, good deal. What do we have in our inventory that we can get rid of? I don't think we need our fireworks. We don't need that. Or that. That. Okay, good. We'll need that. This we can sell. That's handy. We don't need that. All right. Looks like we're in good shape. Don't really need that either. Running out of room on our freighter, but that's okay. Okay. That'll work fine for now. Over here. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and get some things done. I'm going to put this in my ship. Because I don't need it here. I don't think we need those. The proto sausage. That can go on the ship, too, because we've got plenty already there. We need to sell this. And we're going to put that over here to sell. Okay, and we sell those as well. Hang on to your living pearls. You'll need them. As well as more crystal sulfides. Paralysis mortar. Hyperdrive. Suspicious hyperdrive. 91 light years. Okay. I'll take it. That'll give us a little boost to our hyperdrive range. That would be nice. Okay, anything else? Hang on to the chlorine and the salt. Just for some reason, I think we're going to need it. Okay. I think this is good cleanup now. We're clean enough as we stand. Uh, lots of room in here. We'll go ahead and keep these as well. Okay, that looks good. All right. Ship. Hi, ship. There you are. Yes, I'm talking about the space version. There we go. All right, so no toxic atmosphere detected in the current system. Okay. Okay. 
Let's head out. Galaxy map. We're going to go on to the next system. Which takes us almost all the way to number five. I seem to recall this was a pretty decent system. Let's go ahead and hit that. We're looking also for two exotic creatures. So a planet that has the possibility of having that would be a good idea as well. We want to watch out for space battles. Okay, it looks like we're clear here. Alright, looks like we got planets here that might have a toxic... That's temperate. Actually, all we really have to do is go here and check it out. Temperate. Bountiful. Scaly, which will have exotic scaly creatures, so we can go there, Arabab. And Foggy, this is going to be... I don't know. It might be toxic. Okay, let's check out our planets here. This is Bountiful. It's one of these two. Scaly. Okay, let's head to this one first. Alcuno. He discovered it. Well, she, they, them. Yeah. You see that weird surface to it from above? Yeah. That usually gives us the hint that this is going to be an oddball planet. And we have to head in that direction in order to get to our next planet. So we're just going to go straight down here, land. And the wacky stuff you see on the ground over here is always a good clue, right? There we go. And let's take a look around. It shouldn't take more than a couple moments for it to appear. There it is. That's number five. Off we go. There we go. Get away from the planet a little ways. Should be... Well, where is it? It's over there someplace. Okay, we gotta get past the horizon. There it is. And on we go. Now hopefully we'll find something here. Let's see what happens. this particular one has worked is that if you don't discover the, the toxic creature on the first go you may not be able to discover it at all and that's the one glitch to it so you have to get it on the first shot and that's what we're hoping for here okay let's go boy this is a mountainous place um, right down to the water, huh? Let's go right here. And there we go. Wait a couple moments for some creatures to show up, and we'll take a look at them. Acidic blood. And it looks like I just discovered it, but for some reason it's not giving it to me. Oh, got it. And I was on the second try, so that means that we won. Okay, so we got that. So Expedition Phase 2 is now complete. So let's jump out to the Expedition. Phase 2. We get our stuff shield module and we'll get the hazmat gauntlets that we don't need anymore uh expedition so we want to complete out phase two we get our posters so we're all set there all right good so what does that leave us phase three we have to discover a world of hostility quotient over 84 percent and a creature with a body temp over 140. So that's going to be interesting. And if I'm not mistaken, you can get that when you go through the portal. 
and then all we need to do is go through a black hole after that. Um, we need to get to our last rendezvous. We need a Corvax word. So this system we're in, let me pull back out here, is Viking, right? Yes, okay, so let's go to the next system here. Asteroid field again. I don't know how this keeps happening. All right, kind of done with it. Let's go ahead and just get going. All right, let's go to our last rendezvous, which is a Viking. What about the one before it? Does it happen to be Corvax? No. Let's try to find a Corvax system. And there's one on the way, and it's a pirate system to boot. Hmm. We need Corvax words. That's probably not going to help us any. There's a Corvax system, also pirate. That's weird. Corvax. Let's go to this one. Now, you know, people have been checking out every system along the way, so hopefully we'll find something here. Got a radioactive planet in front of us. Okay. We got this planet. Arched. We got this planet. Icebound. And then the space station. I think there was one more around the outside. Let's just check it out real quick. buttons like crazy around here. Uh, what was it? Humid. Okay. Just checking. So we need to find aggressive planets, and I think we'll find it later. Let's hit the space station real quick, because the Corvax will be there, and we can get our last six words. In we go. Let's check out the Corvax. Up, 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 up. Let's start with you. Oh, for crying out loud. It's got to be the one that passed the test. Okay. One. Two. Not you. Well, he's a tall one, huh? And three. This should be four. And it looks like I've got two more over here. Five. One more. Six. That should do it. There it is. All right. So that's done. Go back to our expedition. Memory fragment. Once we get two things out of it. Rocket boots. Oh, I hate those things. We're going to get rid of these. I don't care about them. We don't need that. We could use this. I'll just stick it in there. No problem. Okay. And the lubricant we can sell. As well as the divergence cube. Why don't we sell some of this stuff off of us real quick? Everybody's leaving. Sell. I don't think we need the kelp sack anymore. There's the divergence cube. Lubricant. 
crystalline eggs, the portable reactor, and the vortex cubes. All right, we're all set there. Okay. While we're here, let's use up those augmentations real fast and get them taken care of. You can sell them if you wish to make money, but you can see already that we've got tons of money to begin with. It's one thing you'll never have a problem with on this. And we're going to put it up here. Upgrade the exosuit, of course. Yeah, we could go down there with it. Let's go up here with it here. Multi-tool. Install the slot. We'll put you down there. All right. I didn't even realize we had all these slots down here. We could put the stuff down here that we aren't using. See? And we'll get a lot more room out of it. So, that should be better. Alright. A little roomier in here now. Okay. So where are we going? Let's get back to our expedition. Three. We need a mean world and a body temperature real hot so we need to find a hot planet for the most part black hole which we can get final rendezvous which we're going to head to right now we need to exo find exotic creatures and this system doesn't have any planets that will suit us for that yeah as you can see so let's go ahead and head on Okay, there's our system. This is our last jump for the most part. We may jump to another couple systems in order to try to find stuff. There's a possibility we'll come out and do a battle here. Don't really want to get involved in a battle, but we'll see. Nope, not this time. Okay, it's not giving us anything yet. What do we got? Paradise planet, of course. Scorched, frozen, bountiful, and flourishing. So we're probably going to have to go elsewhere to find what we're looking for. And let me just check something here real quick. Nothing about... Yeah, we've got high sentinel activity here and that's it. So this isn't going to help us any. So let's go ahead and get our fifth expedition real quick. Straight ahead. We'll head there. Take us a minute to get there. I'm not even going to worry about the space station at this point. Moon of Unknown Planet. Hello Games themselves discovered it. Off we go. So we're about 20 minutes into our video here, 18 minutes, minutes or so. So let's see how much longer this will take us. I don't think it'll take us too much longer anymore. Love it. And it's not even heading towards where we need to go. It says it's got it locked in, but I don't think it's true. Told you. Nope, that's where we're headed. One more archive. Let's see if it'll let us land this time. Hey, let us land. Good. Anytime. Right about now. There it is. Okay. Reached our final destination. Okay. Or I should say, rendezvous. Okay. Oh, what do you know? It's got some down there I didn't even notice. Unbelievable. 
We're going to put him up here. All right, there we go. And we get new slots. Okay, great. So that should do it. Let's go ahead and check things out now. Need a herbivore that's really tall. I don't think there's any on this planet that are that tall, but I'm going to check it out anyway. So as you can tell, this is a discovery session here. This whole expedition, I'm pretty sure that's not big enough. 1.4 meters. 6.1 is my record, as you can see. He's definitely not 7 meters. He's only 3. Anymore. Looks like a meat eater out there. 2.2 meters. He's a flesh eater, it says. Keep looking around here just for a little bit. Yeah, I think we're done here. That's not what I was looking for. Discoveries. Well, I got one more ground creature. And I'm pretty sure it's not seven meters tall. So I think we ought to leave this planet. Let's move on. Nice. There we go. So we're going to have to go ahead and we'll jump to another system, probably, is what I'm guessing. There we go. Let's get out away from this planet a little bit. So, let's see where we think we can go here. Scorched. We haven't been to the frozen one yet. Let's check out the frozen one. We'll just hop, skip, jump across. Head straight down because this looks like it's uh, I was heading towards the water. It doesn't look like we're in the middle of a storm, so at least that's something. Let's go to the high ground. Anakin. This looks good as any. Take a look. It's cold. Hmm. Interesting. Where are me, my animals? There's one back there. Really? And yeah, looks like we've got skippers. No idea how big they were. I'm pretty sure they weren't seven meters. Seven meters. Should see that animal right now. Two point eight meters. Really not seeing anything else. What do we got? Ten, huh? Ground, ground, ground. We got three more on the ground. Which is what we're looking for. Let's keep looking, keep looking. Those are pretty cool. one, and I doubt that that is, yeah, it's a one and a half meters, 
Got some weird looking creatures on this planet. To say the least. Kinda thought that would be better creatures out here. Alright. Let's go ahead and exit this planet. I don't think we're gonna find what we're looking for here. I would expect large creatures to be roaming all over the place. Not anymore, because we're not there anymore. Alright, let's go to this planet next. This is a scorched planet. It's not too far out. We do need to recharge our pulse drive. planet and there's the other one over there. So we'll see what we got. You notice I haven't been checking checking anything under the planet over there too. I haven't been checking too much. Straight down. First planet we have, pardon me, first animal we discover. A lot of these places, they like to have only flying creatures. We discovered one. How many does it say? It says we have five. Let's check. Flying, 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 and underground. Let's go ahead and leave this planet. There is nothing for us here. Launch thrusters 50%. So which one's closer of these two planets? You. Let's just at least get moving. 1.3. I'm assuming this one's closer. And it is a paradise planet, so again, we're not going to get scorching. It looks like we're heading to the space station now. We weren't trying to do that, but it is what it is. As we get closer, I'll go ahead and divert. There we go. And down we go. Oh, looks like we might have a structure there that we can land at. Son of a gun, look at that. I'll take advantage of that, thank you very much. While we wait for animals to appear, let's check this multi-tool here. You never know, maybe we'll get lucky and it turns out to be something fascinating. Nope, C-Class, nothing special. Not worth my time, thank you. Alright, let's get a little ways away and take a look around. Of course, it's on the complete opposite side of the building. All right, what are you? 1.7 meters. You're tiny. Half a meter. You're not much bigger. Three. We got three of six discovered already. How many are there that are ground-based? Two more ground-based. Okay, not seeing a whole lot of anything right now. We'll use our last life support gel because I don't want it in my inventory. So the two more ground-based creatures are not appearing. 
I don't see any animals appearing at all. I don't know why. Let's get to the trees. Maybe it's because of the barren landscape here. It doesn't like them. Still nothing. There's one. That doesn't look seven meters tall to me. And there's the other. Okay, so... Tiny animals. Come on. Up you go. There. Okay. And does a flying creature happen to be around? No. Figured I'd just go ahead and complete it out, but it's not important. Alright, moving on. So I kind of as expected this is not turning out how we want. So there is one more planet right there. It is a flourishing planet. Pretty far out there, but not too far. If we don't find anything here, we'll go ahead and head on to the next system, or another system as the case may be. And that's pretty much all you could do here. Sorry, you can actually hear me swallow. And yet my voice doesn't come through clearly every single time, so that's kind of odd. Very strange. I do wonder whether there isn't a problem with my microphone. Nice looking planet. Quite pretty. Definitely not going to be a high up on the host hostility list. Yep, half a meter. I'll go ahead and check out the birds anyway. 4.7 meter birds? Okay. That'll carry away my ship. All right, let's, since nothing's a popping up, let's check out what we got. Twelve. One. There's only one more creature that's a ground-based creature here. Something tells me it's not going to be a seven-foot, seven-meter tall creature. What do you think? Yeah, I think we're going to call it. Off we go. Now, we want to find a system that has a lot of planets. This one will do just fine. It's a dissonant system. That's okay. Let's see what we get here. Now, you know, I did turn up the volume on the game itself. It looks like it might be loud now. Now, we could come across a battle here. Nope. Not this time. Okay, six planets. Let's see what we got. 
erupting, so it's going to be an interesting planet. Tropical, metallic, that could be a good planet. Maybe. No, I don't think it is. Never mind. Vir viridescent, no. Isotopic, no. Viridescent again, and erupting. The viridescent one with the aggressive sentinels might be, I don't know. Red planet, Tori. Might be a place to check out. Uh, I don't know where it is in relation to this. Oh, that might be it. It's pretty far out, but it's worth a look. And we'll work our way back. See what we can find. Now one thing we want to do... Really this is what we need. But I seem to recall that once we go through a portal we can get there. So I may look that portal up myself. Because I know there's a place that we can go through. And I just got word from Mirani that the... BH milestone bug was fixed. So, very good. Very good. So, we're going to search for... Uh, Voyager... Should be one in here. Um, Scottish Rod, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, now I'm having trouble finding it. <laughs> Let me check out his channel real quick. So yeah, I'm kind of delayed here. I apologize when we get on there. There we go. Let's see. Looking for it, looking for it. Yep, not finding it. I know he did one. Is this water? Oh, that would stink if it was. I think it is. It is. It's water. Let's get a little ways away and turn around and take another look. Because even water planets have a lot of land on them, if you know where to go. And I've just got a fleet that materialized right in front of me. There we go. Alright, let's bring it in. Now, this again is a hostile planet. It's got aggressive sentinels. Great if we could find at least a campsite or something. That was a campsite. Kind of was. Interesting. Let's just go over here real quick. Alright. So we are probably going to try to get attacked here.
Really? Interesting, it's like a palm tree up there. Ah, there's something over there. I just want some place that has a building. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. That'll work even better than I expected. Even better. And we'll check out the animals while we're here. 14 animals? Is that what it said? Wrong way. Nine. Nine animals. Three more ground-based. Gotta watch out for sentinels. Ah, oh, they're popping out now. Hopefully... There's a lot of animals here, but I don't see... Anything large. And it's not talking about this place being an exceptionally hostile planet. Alright. So I think what we're going to do is exit this planet. We may have to head to a different system, because I don't think this one's going to do for us. Let's see. Let's go to another system. Just as a hunch. Hold on just a second. We need to find ourselves a portal. That's what we need to do. Let's... Let's see. Really don't want to hit a pirate system right about now. Let's just go here. Let's start here. It's a dissonant system. It's not really important. What we're going to do is we're going to use our map. We're going to look for a portal. Head down to the planet. Take the portal out of here. And hopefully kill two birds with one stone. Three, maybe. Alright. So on our ship, we have this. That's what we're looking for, a monolith. Let's head to the monolith. This happens to be a dissonant planet, but that's okay. Like the purple tinge to the atmosphere. Gives us the knowledge that this is a dissonant system. Turn over, because I can't stand flying upside down. As we come in, there, that's the system I want. Okay. Now, this one, by the way, okay, it's the normal system. So, this is a Korvax system where we could find a weapon. Okay, it's a Gek one. Ah, yes. Screams for mercy. 
So you want to be able to get this right. You want to shoot the creature because it gives it its mercy. It's, it's a mercy shooting. So you get good standing and you get a, get an item from it. And if you go back in, you can use that relic to find a portal. And there you go. Let's head to the portal. Which is half hour away. Yeah, I think we'll take the shortcut. Pause for space. On our way. So this is going to satisfy a couple different requests. At least two, maybe three. So what I did is I looked up uh, Scottish Rod, if you're not familiar with them. They are also a content creator on YouTube. Um, he has given us a nice portal that we can go to that will do one your portal travel and two looks like somebody's created a base here how fascinating and two give us the hostile planet I think it's the hostile planet we do have to recharge this so hopefully you have everything you need I didn't have enough of that uh, let's see what do we got Let's go dihydrogen. We have emerald. Good. Plenty of oxygen. Sodium. I hope I have enough of the elements here. We do. Okay. See, we don't have enough dihydrogen. Look at that. Almost was out of that. I gotta be careful. I'm not gonna bother reading any of this. Okay. We want to activate the portal. Okay, so here's our portal address. Two birds. A balloon. Dragonfly. This is our familiar. Triforce. Whale. Balloon. Base. There it is. TP, Moon, what's next, uh, Dragonfly, and Moon. So we're going to get two things here. We have a hostile world, 84%. And we should have the portal travel wherever my ship might be anyway. i got to get in the ship. Travel via portal. Okay. Let's check out our milestones. So there's our portal. get this. So let's go ahead and just stick it in our exosuit here. There we go. That's fine. And then we've got the other milestone over here. Okay. So now we want to discover a creature, I think. Hot creature. Boy, this is a really ugly system here. 227. Goodbye. Yep, we're going to go ahead and use them. I'm going to see what we get. 225. 
223. There we go. Alright, good deal. I will put you in there. Absolutely, because we do need to get that thing charging up. Alright, good, good. So, it's a hostile planet, but does that mean we have hostile creatures? Let's find out, shall we? We have one, two, three, four more ground creatures. We need a temperature over 140. And a herbivore at least 7 meters high, correct? And a temperature over 140. Okay, got it. Now, one thing I want to check, sentinels are frequent. Okay. It's a creature all the way out there. Got some burbs. All right, we'll check out the creature over there. There it is. That might be it. Hold on. No, four meters. Yeah, and those are only a couple meters high. But I think this is the planet that has them. Now as a look at them. Another creature over here. 300 units distant. Okay, we can't seem to get that one. He's on the other side of it. Oh, that's a bird. Okay. Man, that's a big bird. That's a big guy. Not what I'm looking for, though. With a biological entity. Two and a half meters tall. We're starting to run out of biological entities here. Another bird. Okay, how'd we do? Not over 140. And we haven't found one seven meters tall yet. I seem to recall, I thought this was the place that had it. Maybe not. Okay, that's a person's domicile. Their own little base. Okay. Space station. Nice. Okay, well, we're not finding anything else. Is that all of them? Now, supposedly one more ground-based creature, but I haven't found it yet. And my ship is there. Perception of you, my friend, and you're pretty decent sized. I could swear there was another creature on this planet that was bigger. And now we got another storm coming in. I don't have thermal protection. Sorry, it didn't work for you, my friend. Try harder. 
Kidding, kidding. Okay. So, that is the end of that one. We need exotic animals. What else do we have in the system, anyway? An irradiated planet. Okay, well, that's not going to help us any. Okay. Let's go ahead and take off from here. Oh, we got storm crystals here, too. See, that would have been even better. Very interesting, to say the least. I'm sorry I'm so quiet on occasion. A very interesting system he has us in here. Let's get out of here. There we go. There we go. Recharge some of our systems real quick. All right. So we need a larger creature. We've already visited there. Looks like we already visited here. That's where we're at right now. We'll go over here. So we don't have much, much left. We gotta go through a black hole, we gotta discover the big creature, and we just gotta discover a creature that has a blood temperature over 140. So those are the only three things we have left, and we're just about at an hour. Alright, here we are. Let's check out our system here. Okay, so we got verdant, radioactive, high temperature planet, we could probably check this out, rainy, scaly, that will probably contain another creature that we're looking for. So mecking sub we have to go to and nut pulled. I'm taking that's neither one of you, okay. Yeah, that's a storm, yeah. What's this one? High temperature. Okay, let's go here. What are you? Okay. Another creature, another planet over there. How about you? You're rainy. I think this comes back around to you. Alright, so I'm assuming that this little planet over there is the one we want to look for. Before we do... We'll go here, this high temperature planet, and see if we can find a creature with very high blood. Hot blood. Because they're hot blooded. Check it and see. Yeah, let's land right here. This looks good. No storms going on. That's good. Because I forgot about the exotic creatures. We haven't discovered all the exotic creatures yet. Again, we're very hot here, so we got to be quick. Be great if the creatures could show up so we could see them. 400 meters away. Yeah, that's not happening. Can't get any creatures to appear a little bit closer to me. Wow. Okay. I didn't catch how many creatures there were. We got five ground-based creatures, and yet none of them want to show up for us here. Guess we should have landed lower down. 
Okay, that's what we'll do. Let's go to a lower spot. Because I guess we're up too high. This looks fine. Man, we get a uh, storm here. So it looks like we got tiny creatures. That's great. Doesn't say anything about hot blooded yet. That's weird. Five and a half meters. Three meters. One point seven meters. So that's what three ground based. Those are scurriers. All right. Got him. Only a meter. I think that's going to be it. We did find a pretty decent sized creature at five and a half meters, but none of them are coming up with extreme, extreme temperatures. Just really hoping we'd find something here. Hmm. Nope. Nothing. Let's check something real quick. That's not what I'm looking for. We need that. 127 is the record. It didn't mention any other creatures, so I don't know if it's birds either. Well, phooey. Really thought we had something here. We'll have to go to another system, but we can at least get our exotic. Off we go. Let's get a little ways away from the planet. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be right there. I think. Is that the scaly one? No, that's radioactive. Where's our scaly planet? It's over there. We went the wrong way. I think it's over there. Nope, definitely not over there. It's over there. There she is. And I think it might be a moon. Yes. See what we got. Yeah, you can see by the surface. You get that hexagonal surface, it usually means it's a wacky place. Yep. Oh, what do you know? I'll take it. Didn't know we'd find something like this here. Huh. Abandoned, of course. Anomalous animal, and that should get it. All right, so that takes care of that one. 
Took us an hour. So that's phase five. So we still need a herbivore that is seven meters tall. So let's get a move on. In a high temperature world. Hopefully this will be the last jump. We'll see what happens here. Lots of planets right in front of us. Oh, that's a good one. Lots of worlds here, so we'll see what we can find. All right. Uh, of course, it's a battle. But it does not look like the big map battles. Ooh, it's one of those nice ships, too. And gone. Okay, so, let's see what kind of worlds we got here. Paradise. Low atmosphere, arid, toxic, crimson, and redacted. So this isn't going to help us any. We need a hot planet. Looks like we're taking another jump. Do we have any juice in our hyperdrive? Yeah, we're okay. Uh, let's see. How about you? You. You. Lots of planets right here. Mm, you. Nope. You. Ooh, much better. Go to that one. Let's see what we can find here. We need a hot planet. Another hot planet. As soon as I can appear here. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Yep, that's where we want to be. Bleak. Iborian, it's cold. Jick. Tropical. Rainy. And a planetary anomaly. We have no hot planets here. Let's see. That one looks good. Let's head there. Try to go for the larger selections because there's a better chance you're going to find a hot world. But it doesn't always work out that way now, does it? And uh, there we are. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, paradise, energy, tropical, overgrown, terraforming catastrophe. No hot planets here either. Oh my gosh, what does it take to find me a hot planet? Probably going to be out of hyperdrive fuel at this point. That's the only thing left we need. We just need that. And we can pull in the anomaly. Search for black holes. Go through a black hole. And then we should be done. Okay, what do we got? Paradise. Cold. High temperature. Okay, we got one here. Freezing, damp, corrosive. Which would have been neat, but that's okay. So we want Usan. It's kind of a yellowish planet. Is that you? Oh, that is it. Activated copper. 
progressive sentinel, so this ought to be fun. Hopefully we can find ourselves a place to land. Looks like there might be a storm going on, too. Yeah, there's definitely a storm going on. Ooh, hottest temperature. That's good. Storm crystals as well. See, we need to find ourselves someplace that has buildings. Have buildings. No, does not. Not interested in the storm crystals. We don't need any anymore. What do you have? You are just one of those places. Platform. Are there buildings nearby? Sometimes they are. There are not. Okay, so I'm going to skip you. The platform isn't going to do me any good if I don't have any place to go inside. Especially with a storm. And it's a hot temperature planet, so that makes it even worse. Scooch your head a little bit. So I know this is annoying, but... Smart way to go. I mean, I could dig a hole in the side of a cliff or something like that, but... It's not the purpose of being here. No? Odd. No, not odd. It seems to be the way of things. The way of the Force. Okay, what do we got here? I see two little buildings. That'll work just fine for me. This is a nasty place. Any land-based creatures here? Let's head inside. Sounds like we already have a sentinel heading in. Okay. Let's see what we discovered. Okay, we got four ground pl placed, well, placed creatures here. But we unfortunately also have a sentinel which I don't think we really have the weapon ability to hurt this thing. Yeah, we don't even have a uh, weapon on board our person. All we got is these. But we'll take a look around. See, there's creatures out there, but they don't seem to show up unless we step outside. Wow, it's hot out there. We're going to have to do a lot of running here. So... Ooh, what have we here? Hello. Hi there. Hi. 
Wow. Angry creatures. Wow, wow, wow. No, 127. I want to try something here. Where is that sentinel at? Supposedly he's over there. I think I see him. There we go. There's another creature down there. There's the sentinel and he doesn't know I'm there yet. We've got another creature down below. We can get to it. Still nothing, huh? Any more. I noticed they all came out once the storm was over, too, so that was interesting. Uh-oh. Let's get over here. Hello. Still 127. That's all we got. Is that all of them? One more ground creature and that's it. And I don't think we're going to find it. Well, that kind of stinks. Let's head back to our ship. This planet is not conducive to living. Okay, good deal. Well, didn't quite work. What? No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't know where you came from. So that was the only hot temperature planet there. So let's go someplace else. Let's just go pick another system and go. So this is going to be the tough part. This is what's dragging this episode out, because we've got to find a herbivore that's 7 meters tall and a very hot creature of 140 or higher. Unreal. And another space battle. That we have to escape from yet again. Wow, there's a lot of ships in this one. Gone. Love it. Seems to still work. Portal for expedition use. Very nice. Paradise. Caustic. Desert. And acrid. It's amazing how many people have been through these systems. And you wonder to yourself, how could we possibly not find all the systems? But, so many galaxies. So many galaxies. Anytime now. Come on, give me what I'm looking for here. Might be a hot planet in front of us. Let's see what we got. Rainy. Tropical, caustic, verdant, toxic, and reeking. Unbelievable. Too bad we can't go to the uh, Euclid galaxy. I know there's a lot of hot planets there. Yeah, why not? So a 550 degree planet during storms and we couldn't find one creature with a blood temperature over 140. Unbelievable. I would expect that to be the hottest planet, you know? But it is what it is. Hmm. Paradise. 
paradise planet. We'll have to remember that. So I got a funny feeling that all the planets were checked out here. Scalding. Ooh. Mermot. Where is that? Is that Mermot over there? High radio. It's uh, dangerous, of course. Scalding. Now, it looks like somebody discovered the system and discovered this specific planet. Let's find out. And then they left the system. So maybe they didn't find what they were looking for here. Toxic atmosphere. That's odd. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about sentinels here, right? Gotta wait for creatures to show up. Okay. Didn't tell me how many creatures. Okay, so I'll have to just get in here and check it out. Seven. We got four more on the ground. Okay. Find them yet? Nope. Wow. A lot of those flying worm like creatures. Let's check it real quick. So we got two more ground and one more flying. Let's get over here and just take another look. I saw one of the ground creatures were burrowing, flitting about underneath us, but I doubt that's going to be one of them. What do you know? Unknown grave. Never find it on the expedition I go on with, uh, on the Beeblebum, uh, one. Oh, I found one. So it was that creature. Interesting. Alright, so phase three's done. So I might want to put something here. Let's help people out. Create a base. We don't even have to put anything here. We just have to put the base computer down. Rename it. Oddest creature. Over 140. Well, I'm going to put 140 Fahrenheit. There. Okay, so that's done. So let's go ahead and get our reward. Supreme Mining Beam Upgrade, which we can't use anymore. We don't really need. And we get Phase 3, which is Salvage Companion Customization. Okay, good. And now we just have, let's see, so 1 is complete, 2 is complete, 3 is complete. 4 is almost complete. We've got to go through a black hole. And five, we have to document a herbivore. We have to find that still. So, what I'm going to do is go here. Of 
Of course, there is this paradise planet that no one's ever actually landed on. Let's check it out. It's all land. No water. Which is always a good sign. That means all the creatures on the planet are all going to be land-based or flying. So, better chance of finding what we're looking for. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, we want to be not high up. Let's go this way. This looks good. Actually, bounce off the ground and let's head over here. One more bounce. Bounce. What's this? Ah, that's alright. We'll land here anyway. Did some damage to the ship. Eh, no big deal. Okay. So, we gotta find ourselves some animals. Well, let's show us them first, seven of them. Uh, we've got one, two, three, and four ground-based animals. Those are not very tall. 1.8 meters. Two. Three. 2.2 meters. I'll just check out the birds anyway. I think we already discovered you, right? Nope. 1.8. I think that takes up three of them, right? We only got one more ground creature, and I don't think he's big. Hmm. No. Not gonna show his show their uh show their mug. No. Nope. One more jump. I'm just gonna go a little further out one more time. Because I'm kind of anxious about finding this. And if we got to, we'll go through a black hole real quick. To get that out of the way. And then all we have to do is find the herbivore. That's an interesting plant. Mm, over there. Middle of these star bulbs. Well, that's a pretty big creature. Four meters. Now that's not going to cut it. Most intelligent creature. That's interesting. But that's the biggest that we found. Okay. Back to our ship. Alright. So we're going to try the black hole routine. Call in the anomaly. We'll go through a black hole. Now we're going to select that as our next milestone. And milestone 4. There we go. So we got to see, it says find specialist Polo. Ask him for assistance. Love the anomaly. It's like flying into a big round hug. Okay, here we go. I have no idea why I said that. Don't worry about it. Getting a little bit uh, tired. It's late. Oh, hello. Hi, Polo. Give me the stuff. Black hole coordinates. Thank you very much. Off we go. It's 
So we can't hit hyper. We can't hit the the uh, hyperspace icon until we get far far enough away from the station. There we go. Alert. Okay, where are you taking me? Rolinga. That's the one. So let's see what happens here. This will take us to the black hole. And then we just need to find a creature seven meters tall. And we're done. Very long expedition. I get the feeling none of us are going to be speedrunning this. Let's check the system out real quick. Radioactive, blighted, and verdant. Not really worried about it. Let's head for the black hole. Why isn't it sucking all these planets in? Oh, that's pretty neat, isn't it? That double effect that it gave me there. That's pretty cool. It should be squashed flat like a pancake. To a bazillion. It should just have squashed me so small that nothing would have existed. But hey, really? Come through a black hole into a space battle? What? It's like something out of a sci-fi novel. Gone. Thank you. So that's done. So phase four is complete. Correct? All of phase four? Yes. Dragon tent plans, const construct digital plans, and construct skull plans. Excellent. All right, so phase four complete. Four is complete. Five just has to give us that herbivore. Let's see if we can find it, huh? Uh, paradise. Freezing. Tropical. Decaying. Fiery and corrosive. She would she just came here, right? Let's go to the tropical planet, Zytok. Alright, let's head that way. Paradise. Tropical. Looking for tropical. Freezing. Fiery. Decaying. Is it over here? Tropical. Okay, that's where we're headed. Be right back with you. I'm going to take a quick break. Okay, break over, heading to planet. We can just discover this stupid seven foot tall monstrosity. We'll be in good shape. Uh, let's get out of this because I can't quite see. Are we really? Is it water? Ugh. Alright, let's take a quick view out since the storm is cleared. Let's go further out and we'll stop. All right, we got land masses over there. Let's head over there. And let's hope we can find what we're looking for. Because I'm going with the idea that if it's tropical, you got bigger animals. I don't know. Could be wrong. Got 
ourselves a landing pad, and we found bubbles. That's great. Okay, what do we got? Fifteen animals. And six of them are on the ground. Okay. Let's get up to the top of the ridge here and take a look. So there's one. He's only a meter and a half. There's another guy down there. 1.8 meters. How big are they? 3.8. There's a big guy over there. Hmm, how big are you? 3.1. Little guy, 1.9. I think that covers all of the land-based. So I don't think we found anything large enough. Well, worth a shot. So I think we're going to solicit some help here. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, Voyager. Okay, let's see. Now, Jason has a couple of them, but unfortunately, I think he... I don't think he shows the... milestone for what we're looking for here. Okay. So someone mentioned number two. Well, that might be a way to go. Let's see if we got ourselves a space station here. Now let's hit that space station and see what we can find. says that it's on that planet. Let's see what we can do here. Of course, it's got to be the longest entrance in existence. I think we just came out of the back of the station. Unbelievable. Okay, let's see what we can find here. So we need to look for Medate 13. I don't know if we're going to find it. We 
low Q8. Ah, wait a minute. Wow. Have we really been to that many systems? Let's check that real quick. What was the name of the planet? Hulo. Nope, that's not it. Nope. Tino Sugar? Not crossed. Tea. Oh, good old Cafe 42. Thank you very much for what you do. At least bring a smile to all of us. Here. Okay. That's just not working for us. So it looks like we may have to end this one early. Because we are just not finding what we're looking for. Let me just see if it has anything more in here. Let me just check one more time. I know this is real quiet right now. Okay. Well, this has been wonderful. Because we could check out the Paradise Planet and just see if it's there. And the bigger the planet, sometimes the bigger the animals, but got to be careful of that. I'm just going to pick a random system here real quick. We're going to call it here if we can't find it. We base that we created was... Well, let's just head here. I want to say it was during the second expedition, but I could be wrong. Okay. So here's my place. I still have my flapping bird in there. Already discovered him. Have I discovered all the creatures on this planet? Four of eight. Still got one more ground creature I'd ever discovered. I'm just curious. So this is where I'm at. I may check out this one because it's a pretty big planet. But on the off chance that the creature happens to be here and it's the one I never discovered, we'll take a look around. Anything about the creature? Just rare ground and always active. That's about it. Hmm. 
Nope. Not gonna show. Well, what time we got? 1.45. This is gonna be another two-hour episode. Let's take a look. So what planets have we got out there? We got a flourishing planet. So which planet would we want to go to? The Isoporance? Windswept? Or the flourishing one? Thirteen other bases are there. Well, it's not far away. Let's go ahead and visit it. Finding a creature that big is usually kind of rare. But we shall see. And of course I, I appear over an ocean during a storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now we found some land. Okay. We're just going to land and take a look. Hmm. It's actually kind of a nice looking planet. Nine creatures, four on the ground. As soon as they start popping up. Anytime now. Is that? Yeah, sure enough, look at that. One of those random base computers you find sometimes. Um, so for four ground animals and a bunch of flying creatures, there's literally nothing showing up right now. Still, nothing. I've never had anything like this happen. This is ridiculous. There we go, finally. 1.6 meters. I doubt that's bigger. Hyper carnivore and violent. That ought to be interesting. I wonder. That's the theory? Yep, he's angry. that's going to be it. I don't think we got a taller creature on this planet. One's flying. One's ground and always active, but rare. Well, 
Okay then. Ow. Broke my ankles. Well, I think we're gonna have to call this, folks. Because we're not finding much of anything. The icy abhorrence, I think we could take a look at real quick. And just see. That's where our base is. That is windswept. That is icy abhorrence. Loki's cool place. I love it. Very nice. One last try. And what we're going to do is we're going to call it here. I'm probably not going to do another episode after this. Because this is supposed to be the bigger planet of out of all of them that are here. So hopefully we should find something here. see what we got. Straight down. And just land. Uh, let's get closer to... Oh, it's going to be one of those planets. Yeah, this looks okay. So we're not going to find anything here. Uh, let's see. Five ground-based creatures, but we have worms here. As you can see in the distance over there. Three meters. Tiny. One of those walking creatures there. He's only a meter tall. Two point four. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find any creatures on this planet that are uh, big enough to take care of what we're looking for. I forgot about the abhorrence. And of course there's a blizzard coming in. Okay. Very disappointed that it took this long to complete an expedition. I'm not sure I'm very keen on it. I mean, there's one thing to search for stuff, and there's another thing that make it nearly impossible to find anything. I hate to complain. I really do. Because I really like No Man's Sky. It's really my bread and butter. I really love this whole universe and playing here. But... Yeah, a little disappointed. I discovered an herbivore on my uh, live playthrough quite by accident at one of the planets I was at. I don't remember which planet it was at and what navigation it was. I think it was either two or three. I want to say three, but... So let's go ahead and pause here for a second. Check one more time.
and see what we got. in order to be able to see this. I've got to get past all the garbage that's in here first. Hold on a second here. Looks like we might have something here. All right. That's true. He mentions that the they're, they're randomized creatures on certain planets. Okay. Oh yeah, he's doing it in a kind of a methodical way. So we did this before. Space stations. Shida. This is actually the system he's in right now. Hang on just a second here. So I'm going to go to the same system right now, because it looks like you might have found something here. second here. Sorry for the delay. I'd like to be able to pause, but I can't. Okay. Discovered the big creature. Where did you find it? Give us a picture. Yes, we know you got it. Where are you? There we go. Okay, we got the system and we got the planet. Okay, we know where we're going. Uh, we need to get a portal. Do we have any navigation data on us? I think we do. We got a ton of it, actually. Specific charts. We want to do these. I want to get a few of them. 
That's all. Should be enough. So here we go. We're going to end this. Finally found something. Good grief. Monolith on the first shot. Where are you? We're going to put you all the way over there. It's on an infested planet, huh? Or is this this planet right here? Nope, it's on that one. I think we'll have this in five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah, five minutes. Of course, I think it's locked in on the base. Yeah, it's locked in on something else, as usual. Thank you. It's probably a save beacon or something there. There we go. There we go. Radiation levels through the roof. Just what we need. I think this happened in my last video, didn't it? I started getting a little bit uh, ticked off at it and a little tired and I got real quiet. So, sorry about that. I feel terrible about it. Shouldn't do that. Here, weak, terror. He's nice. His patch of body parts. Ragged beak appears to have been stitched on with animal gut and red sign language. Trainers say both the bodies themselves. You melt the ice. Melt the ice. That was the wrong thing. Unbelievable. I thought I thought I really thought doing that would work, but you know, it didn't, so okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So let me see what we can do here. Okay. Try it again. And we'll just get past all the blah blah blah. Not have to read it this time because we know it's not going to be melting the ice. We're going to abandon the life form. Okay. Okay. Got a portal. Let's head over there. And here's the thing I don't think we have enough resources to open another portal, but we'll give it a shot. I know we need dihydrogen, so. We'll try to grab that when we get down here. There is the portal. Heh, <laughs> somebody already has a base there. Really? It's got to be so far away I can't even get to it. Okay, good. That should be enough. And actually we got some jellies. I forgot about those. That's not what I want. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, I don't need to do that, do I? I got you. 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 Where are you?
Wow. We'll let it go. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Are you open? No, you're not. Carbon. Sodium. Dihydrogen. Ammo. Carbon. Sodium. Dihydrogen. Emerald. Carbon. Sodium. Hydrogen. Emerald. Carbon. Sodium. Dihydrogen. Emerald. Activated. Here we go. Bird. Bird. Starship. Balloon. Triforce. TP. Balloon. Base. Boat. Moon. Dragonfly. And face. There we go. This should be it. Looks like we're five minutes already. It'll let me go. I can start running towards the portal. And hopefully this should be it. Fingers crossed, folks. Let's see what we got here. Well, something just happened. This is a nasty place. Where's my ship? Right in front of me. Can't even see it. Thanks, Jason. Why would I want to recharge my mining beam? That might be it. I don't... I didn't want the rock. Birds. There he is. That's the creature. Got it. We got it. Finally. We're going to end this in the anomaly. Alright. So there it is. Hooves of Thunder. We got a dream aerial out of it. We collect our Phase 5 reward. Voyager's decals and banner banners. And we get our final reward. The Hover Droid Companion Egg. Expedition is now over. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally completed it, and I'm very sorry for all the silent moments that were in there uh, in trying to beat my head into the into a pulp and trying to figure all this out. So this is probably the longest I've spent in an expedition. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Let me throw the wave in here real quick. There it is. I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. Please don't hold any of this against me. <laughs> Let's check to see how long this actually took, shall we? Five and a half hours. Five and a half hours it took me to do this. Unbelievable. My record is 4 and 40, 4.45 to complete it. So that tells you how long this took. And I am going to love this one very, very much. Um, to the point where I'm going to go ahead and delete this one right now. So I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you again in the next video. Take care, everybody.